In this video, you'll see how you can set up an A-B test to improve conversions on a landing page if you're using Thrive landing pages, or even if you're not using Thrive landing pages, and we'll do it using free tools only. The tools we're using are Thrive landing pages, and we're going to use Google Analytics. Now, in all likelihood, you're already using Google Analytics. It's free to use, and we will use Google Content Experiments to do the A-B test. For our basic A-B test, we need three pages. So this here is the control page. As you can see, this is an opt-in page, simple opt-in page, advertising an offer and an opt-in form at the bottom. Then we need a challenger page or a variation. So the page that we're testing this one against to see which one will do better. So in our case, this is the challenger page. And as you can see, this is a page that advertises the same offer it just uses a totally different design and we want to find out which one of these two designs will lead to higher conversion rates. Then we need a third page, which is the post sign up page or the success page. It's the page that people will see once they reach the conversion goal. So that's basically when people visit that page, that's how we know that they reach the conversion goal. In the case of this example here, this is our success page. So this is the page that people see after they sign up for this offer. And in this case, they go straight to this resources page. If you use a confirmed opt-in process, then they would see some kind of a email confirmation page first. And in that case, that email confirmation page would be your success page. But the main point is we need these three pages. We need the control page, we need a challenger, and we need a success page. What we also need is Google Analytics installed and running on your website. You probably already have this since most people use Google Analytics. If not, here's what you can do to get it. I recommend using a plugin for this. So in WordPress, go to plugins, click on add new, and then in the search field, enter Google Analytics. We already have that here and enter. And there's actually a lot of different plugins. I guess they all do the same thing. The one I'm using is this one right here, Google Analytics. Uh, basically, what I look for is one that has a lot of active installs, a lot of positive reviews, and hasn't been updated too long ago. This one hasn't been updated in two years. That's why I'm not using this one. So then you just install this, activate it, and you can then go to Settings, Google Analytics, and you want to enter your code here, your analytics code. In Google Analytics itself, what you want to do is once you've created your account, you go to Admin, you go to Tracking Info, Tracking Code, and all you need is this right here. So we copy this, paste it in here, and save settings. Note that this will not track you as an administrator. So if you check for the analytics code yourself while you're logged in, you won't see it on your pages. Uh, because it's not tracking your own visits. You can just uncheck this or check in private browsing mode to, to make sure that the code is actually loading. So now you go to analytics, you go to the reporting tab, you go to behavior and choose experiments. And then you create a new experiment. This is how we set up our A-B test. You give this experiment a title, video, test, demo thing. And now it will ask you for an objective. So that's the conversion goal. So what you can do is you can create a new objective. So this would be demo goal. And what you want to do is set a destination as the goal. And then click on continue. This is our success page. Okay. So I'm going to go get the success page URL, copy that and paste that in here. Now, equals to, I like to use begins with, we can use begins with and then get rid of the domain as it says in the example down here. So we can get rid of everything before the first forward slash here. And the reason I like to use begins with instead of equals to is that in this case, if there are tracking parameters or UTM parameters or something attached to that link, it will still recognize this correct page. Whereas if you choose equals to, then only that exact URL will count. So begins with, with this format is generally more reliable. The other options we will simply leave this verify goal link here. Uh, a note about this is if you've just created your success page, then this will do nothing, right? You click on this and it will say 
this goal has not been reached in the last seven days because the page is new and nobody has seen it yet. So that's just, you know, if you click this and let's see if I get anything. Yeah. So in my case, some people have seen this page. Uh, if you get a message that says, oh, nobody has reached this page, that might just mean that the page is new. Anyway, spot we save this goal and then we can go back to reporting experiments and you can see the draft has been saved here. So video test and you can select the goal. In this case, it's the demo goal here that I've created. Or if you already have that as a conversion goal, then you choose the one you already have. But this is our goal in this case. Okay, then percentage, we wanna test all the traffic. We don't want email notifications. And in the advanced options, what I like to do is select distribute traffic evenly across all variations. So the rest of the settings we can leave as they are. Then we move to the next step. Now, what we need is, this is our control page, web page to experiment. So that is, nope, this one. Here we go, this is my control page. So I enter that here. And then we have variant one, that's this here. So I get the URL of this, enter that here, and you can give it a name, right? So I can call it different design. This is basically useful if you have multiple variations and you can identify the different variations by entering different descriptions here. And then I go next step. Here, you wanna click on manually insert the code. And you basically need two things. On your actual landing pages, you need the Google Analytics code to be running. We already took care of that with the plugin before. And you need to add this code here to the control page. This will make sure that half the visitors will, who reach this page will actually be redirected to the other page so that you can run the A-B test. So I copy this entire code here and I go to my control page. Here I click on edit with content builder. Then I go to the Thrive Landing Pages dropdown, choose landing page settings and set up custom scripts. This will allow me to add custom scripts to this page. And what we want is the header script field. I paste in that code, save it, and then save my changes. That's all it takes. Now we can go to the next step. It will do some validation. It will tell you, okay, the code is there, all good. And then you can start the experiment. You'll get this confirmation message and you can go to the experiments list. And here you will then be able to see a report of the experiment ongoing. With that, your landing page test is now running. And as you can see, it's totally free and it's fairly easy to do. The only slightly tricky bit is setting up the conversion goals in Google Analytics. But once you get the hang of it, it's really quite easy to set up A-B tests. Now, we've been asked this a lot, so let me address it right away. Yes, we will have a built-in A-B testing feature in our Thrive Landing Pages plugin at some point in the future. We are building you know, a fairly extensive kind of A-B testing feature, so we haven't released a simple little add-on for that yet, but we will bring that in the future. In the meantime, the method in this video is what, you, what I recommend you use.